Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we will be proving that there are an infinite amount of prime numbers. Seems like a super important result, so you would think that it might be kind of challenging um, to prove because it's such a fantastic and fundamental result, but uh, it is not. It's very easy and it's very cool. So let's get right into it, proving that there are infinite prime numbers. And as usual, I'm not going to write out the whole proof formally. I will just walk you through it. And if you're looking to write the proof formally, um, these lessons should give you a perfectly good idea of how to do so. So for starters, we're going to assume the opposite of what we're trying to prove is true. So we're going to assume that there are a finite number of primes. So we're assuming there's a finite number, we'll say n of primes. That means there are n primes, some finite number. So let's take the product of all those primes, p sub 1 multiplied by p sub 2 multiplied by p sub 3, all the way up to multiplying by p sub n, the nth prime, which based on our assumption that there's n primes is our last prime. So we are multiplying all primes together. I'll put a little multiplication symbol there too. We're going to take this number and add 1 to it. And we're going to say that this number is equal to p. So p is equal to the product of all of our primes, some finite number n of primes, plus 1. So now notice that pn is our largest prime, right? It's our last prime. We also know that p is bigger than any of the primes because it's the product of all of them, plus 1. So it's absolutely bigger than every single prime number that we have. Therefore, by the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, it must be divisible by at least one of our primes. So we can say that some prime, p sub m, divides our number p. However, we see that no matter what prime number we divide p by, we will have a remainder of 1, no matter what, because p is defined by being a multiple of every single prime plus 1. So it's 1 more than a multiple of any prime number. So p is equal to p sub m times some integer k plus 1. Therefore, this prime number, p sub m, doesn't divide p, which is a contradiction. And therefore, our original assumption that there's a finite number of primes must be false. Therefore, there are an infinite number of primes. So just to walk you through that one more time, we suppose, for the sake of contradiction, there's a finite number n of primes. We let some number p be the product of all n primes plus 1. Then we know that p is bigger than all of our prime numbers because it's the product of all of them um, with an additional 1 added to boot. So we know it's bigger than all of them. Therefore, by the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, which says that every number either is prime or can be uniquely factored into primes, we know that at least one of our prime numbers has to divide p. However, because of how we defined p, we know that p is 1 greater than a multiple of any single one of our primes. Therefore, by definition of divides, p sub m does not divide p because p is equal to 1 greater than a multiple of any prime that we have. And that's a contradiction because we have both p sub m divides p and p is 1 greater than a multiple of p sub m, which means that p sub m does not divide p. That's our contradiction, which lets us know that our initial assumption has to be false, and therefore the opposite is true. And that's how you prove that there's an infinite number of primes. There's tons of ways to do it. This is just one of the ways you can. I'll probably show a few others as time goes forward. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the video. I think it's a little bit of a wordy proof to explain, um, so I hope you understood it, but let me know if you need anything clarified or if you have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes every